Mark, congratulations. Safely round to the safely through to the fourth round. Mm -hmm. Must be very happy with the sort of performance you saw tonight from a young yeah, team. Really am rich. You know, you come to a place like this and I say the ammunition they've got, you know, big big giant of a striker and you know, they bombard you and ask questions of you defensively. So you've got to be right, your concentration's got to be right, you've got to be battling and picking up second balls and doing all that nasty side of the game. But I guess today we did that, but also the thing that was really pleasing was the fact that I thought on the ball, the young players, especially the decision making when we were in possession, you know, the, the, the senior players were, were organising and helping them as well. But to a man, every player and the young players, especially, they made great decisions on the ball. And as you say, you know, the, it is a particularly young squad tonight. Eight academy players in the starting lineup and a couple of sort of senior heads around them. And uh, yeah, as you said, that, that's kind of particularly pleasing too. If it's... Yeah, but could, as I said to him before the start, when you come to this, like this it's. It's very easy to get if like wrapped up in the occasion, and you know, I was putting them again, putting demands on these young players, and, and saying to them, well, you know, it's uh, why shouldn't we come to places like this and play our own game, not get wrapped up in playing their game? And I thought we did that, as I say, that the, the young players right from the start got on the ball, showed character, they were brave on the ball, and, and made good decisions and, and played well, and really pleased with them. And it's, you can certainly say two 0 by no means flattered us whatsoever. It could have been a few more, hit the yeah. post, hit the bar, and, and yeah, all, all in all, like a performance to be very, uh, very happy yeah, with. Yeah, and put, put you, know, Luke, you know, Lucas Boy put him as a, as a number nine up front where he's got two huge centre-halves coming over the top of him all the time, so it was unusual for him. But again, he, he, he battled right the way throughout and again, had a fantastic shot at the crossbar. It was great save from the goalkeeper as well. And, you know, Gareth McCleary sat in centre midfield and did that job in there as well. You know, so and, and I mixed jo Jordan a beater and, and, and Omar on the left hand side. They mixed it up in terms of who went left back, who went left winger. So you had players playing and adapting in different positions as well. So it can only be good for the, for the health of the squad. That's right, because because this is a platform for a lot of those players who aren't necessarily in that team that have been playing week to week to week in the league. So yeah, some probably making the making your decisions a bit harder to kind of keep that squad, same squad. Yeah, I, I nearly, I was saying to somebody, I nearly did him a great disservice because I, I was nearly slipped out of my mouth in the dressing room saying, well, OK, let's let's get through the this tie because don't forget it keeps, you know, the, the next round of the cup, you guys again. And I'm glad I didn't because it did him a disservice because I think if, I, if I'd have said that, they tend to think, well, OK, we're the, dare I say, the backup squad. And I think the show tonight, they're certainly a long way from being a backup squad. These players on that pitch tonight are going to be pushing me week in, week out for selection in the first team. And it keeps those first team guys the ones who have been, I could say first team, the ones that have been playing lately, keeps them on their metal, keeps them on their toes and they've got to keep producing. And in fact, yeah, like I said, eight starters, a debut on the, off, off the bench for Gerard Dorset. Uh, very good for the health of the football club in, in the sense that the academy keeps producing players and, and, and ones that can mix up and gets to approach your first choice league one squad. Yeah, yeah, I think you know, time and time again, people, even before I came in the door of this club, people talked about the, the academy here and it's, it's still flourishing, it's still doing very well. And these guys say they... You know, the problem they're going to have is, is, is d disappointing them, if you like, because they want to play regular first team football. People like Teddy Howe, he wants to play regular, but you know, we'll, we'll see what the next few weeks develops because it's hard to keep 22 players happy. So, you know, whether one or two of them do go out on loan, but if they do, we'll watch them closely and we'll see what they can develop into for the future of this club. Not for not for a couple of weeks yet, but it does mean a home tie against Carlisle or, or Cardiff, depending on how that result goes tomorrow. And it would just be nice to, you know, that have that kind of uh, in the back, you know, in the back burner for now, but you know, to hopefully keep press on and keep going in the cup and see where we go. Well, it, it, it's massively important. You know, the fans, when all, although everybody in the staff went all and clapped the fans afterwards because to come to a place like this on a freezing cold night in January, you know, it takes takes a lot of doing. And I'm glad actually to, to, to get the result. Apart from anything else, is that you know, the club itself, the fans, everybody wants you know, in the build up to the fourth round of the FA Cup, you're glad you're there and you, you want to turn up and, and see. See if you can get a cup run going, and we're no different. The players are the same. We're all excited now. I suppose you know when you, when, you, when we drew the first game, you, you, a bit of a you think, you know, we now got to go up to Blackpool. But now we've been here, now we've won. We're all looking forward to the fourth round as well. Last, you've got to touch on Charlie. He got a great reception and uh, shows what he's achieved throughout his career, in particular here, and, and how hold, how high everyone holds him in, in their esteem. Yeah, it was the biggest decision of the night for me because. Charlie was desperate to come on, and you know, I, I wanted him to have that 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 sort of thank you from, from the Blackpool supporters. But at the same time, I was terrified. Uh, even if he went on for two minutes, if he goes on, then he gets a bad tackle or he he, he tweaks his car for something. Then I, I'm literally going to 
Oh, I don't know. I would have been looking forward to Saturday, but uh, no, it's, it's over now. He, he got what he deserved. You know, he's got a rich history at this club, and the, the fans appreciate him for that. And this is the first of three consecutive away trips. A uh, bit of a short one, luckily, on on Saturday at Millwall. So back to league action and potentially a fifth game on. Uh, sorry, a big a tenth game unbeaten on the on the bounce, which well, would be pretty incredible. Well, that's it? what we've got to aim for. I mean, no doubt about it. Millwall will ask major questions of us. You know, from from the first minute to the last of Saturday, it's a difficult place to go. Again, right through the game, we've got to make sure we're prepared. But we'll have everybody, this this squad here tonight, the ones who are, the ones who were left back at the train ground. We worked them hard this morning, myself and Eddie, and and came up by train today for the game. But they'll have a rest tomorrow now, and everybody will get back Thursday, and we'll start preparing the best way we can in detail for our trip to Millwall on Saturday. Wishing you a safe journey home. Thanks, thanks, Rich.